Hey folks, just pushing off here. I'm at a new little lake. Trying to get to get a float here. Here we go. I'm at a new lake. Um, I fished this lake before. It's called Oxbow Reservoir. It's a reservoir in the American River. Um, it's a very small lake. Don't know how deep it is. Never been out here on a boat before. So it's going to be quite the adventure. Um, I'm just going to start out trolling a, a, a threaded night crawler and, and see what happens. I have no idea what to expect, but uh, here we go. I'm going to get my, uh, my sonar unit going and uh, get Lucy situated and uh, we will go from there. Anyway, I'll be back with you in a bit. Okay, here we are. Um, I've got a set of the Max Lure Mylar flashers. Um, just the two blade version, trailing a worm about 24 inches behind them, half a, half a threaded mini crawler. Um, going 2.1 miles an hour. On my other rod, I'm trailing a quarter inch uh, brown trout pattern Castmaster. So we will uh, we'll see what happens. Lucy's antsy this morning. Um, so we'll see if we hook up. This is just beautiful scenery down here. Nice small lake. I know it doesn't get too much pressure, at least from boats. So we shall see what happens. I've been trolling here for a little ways. Um, the water's about 12 feet deep so far. It's supposed to be a little deeper down towards the dam. So I'll adjust uh, my depth accordingly. I have one color of lead core out with the worm. So I'm down about five, six feet. My rod just moved. I thought I got hit. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll check back in in a bit. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Don't want to lose him. <laughs> I'm, I'm turning on him big time, but I got my other line over here. I'm going to try to action. Okay, got my net out. We have stopped moving forward. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Nice little rainbow. There we go. All right. So I'll show you this trout. Whoa. We're going to let him go. Another one just jumped right there. Okay, I'm pretty well lassoed there on the uh, on the uh, frog pattern flatfish. Got himself all wrapped up. So let's see. There's that. There's a there's a closer look at that uh, closer look at that flatfish. So he just whacked that thing. I was going about 1.2 miles an hour when he hit. What a beautiful little fish. We'll get him back in the water. Uh, but they're just dandy little guys. And there he goes. All right. Well, I'm really surprised that the first bite didn't come on a worm, but uh, maybe maybe this little flatfish is the pattern. So we'll get this guy back out in the water. A nice fish just jumped over here. So that was 85 feet back, going about 1.2 miles an hour. So we'll get moving again and uh, get this lure back in the water. We'll be back with more trout action after this. This, is a, this seems to be a better fish. Wow. Got this guy hooked on the lead core. In pretty shallow water. Feels heavy. We'll see what, uh, see what he looks like. 
Oh, I about like the other one. I'll just lift him into the boat here and we'll let him go. There he is. Little wild rainbow. Beautiful little fish. Dandy. We'll get him back in the water. Whoa! You know, I love to hit the really famous fisheries, uh, the Shastas, New Maloney's, big deep lakes that are full of trout, full of bait. But I also really enjoy getting off the beaten path and checking out these smaller waters. And for that work, uh, you just can't beat a kayak. I launched at a launch this morning where you, you could never launch a bigger boat. It's rocky, just a mess. In fact, I had to drag the kayak down about 25 feet after I backed down as far as I could. So the only real way to access this is with some small watercraft. Um, and with the kayak, I mean, I've got Lucy here with me. It's nimble. It's awesome. I'm able to work shallow water. I'm able to work fast and slow. Um, kayaks are just perfect for exploring these small Sierra waters. And uh, the rewards are great at these at these lakes. They're, most of them are full of fish. Some of them have bass. Some of them have trout. Um, and you'll get surprised once in a while. Once in a while, you'll catch a big smallmouth or a big largemouth. And uh, when you're in these trout fisheries, they all have browns in them. They're very hard to catch. But most of these lakes have double-digit fish. So put in your time, be patient, and uh, you might catch something really epic. As the morning went on, I kept on trolling and the trout kept coming. See that flatfish working there? Boy, you get tremendous action on a flatfish. You just got to keep your speed down, which is perfect for a fishery like this. Um, it's clear the fish are fairly wary and uh, you know you don't want to don't want to really scare them that is 1.4 miles an hour right there so that thing is just dancing putting out a ton of vibration and it's moving real slow giving them a chance to grab it so we'll see what happens so far one on the flatfish and one on the worm fish on let me swing the camera out here Another one on that frog, uh, frog pattern flatfish. Oh, he's feisty. The nice rainbow. I'll just lift him up here. No need to net him. There we go. Couldn't lay off that flatfish. Once again, that is just an old school lure that just keeps on producing fish. Decade after decade. Wow, he's feisty. Let's see here. Wow, what an exception I'm wearing. This small lake trout fishing up here in the Sierra Nevadas can be just, just phenomenal. And this morning was a great example of that. I caught a mess of wild rainbows. It's only 10.30 in the morning. I got the kayak back on the trailer. I'm ready to get back to the office and do a little work. Um, you folks have a great day. And catch me next time on Fish in the West with Kel Kellogg.